gusto ko lang itanong sa comment ni Mr. Mamit Madam Chair, if uh, the factor even that, yung cases halimbawa ng mga uh, first-gen uh, exposure to positive cases no, na kailangan nilang mag-quarantine. Uh, no, pero hindi naman sila necessarily positive cases. But uh, since uh, they've been exposed to to certain positive uh, uh, certain patients no, that have been uh, that have tested positive, hindi sila pwedeng lumabas. No? And this is, a, uh, this is a good number, Madam Chair. For example, uh, in the city of Bhutan right now, we have we have about 1,400 active cases right now in the city. Right. At the average of five, for instance, uh, Madam Chair, five na na-exposed no, sa household, that's about uh, 7,000, uh, 6,000 to 7,000 voters, uh, Madam Chair, na hindi pwedeng makaboto, but not naman, hindi naman sila positive cases. Kaso, required sila mag-quarantine for the next 14 days. So, uh, does the COMELEC uh, have uh, measures no, to to ensure that these uh, voters are able to vote? No? Kasi, halimbawa, sa, sa mga kulungan, nag, nag, nagdadala naman tayo ng ating uh, BCMs doon at buboto yung ating mga, really? mga inmates. No? That's right. Meron, Actually, Congressman Fortun. Uh-oh. Yes, Madam Chair. May, may I hear from Comelec? I don't know if uh, Cong uh, Congresswoman Yoyak is still there. Meron akong uh, uh, nakatenga ngayon na pinaglalaban sa plenary na bill precisely about that na unang-una, we expand the APP and the emergency polling places uh, to allow for seniors, pregnant, and so on, uh, PWDs. Isa yun, ano? So, firstly, meron sila, hindi lamang na priority lane, kundi talagang uh, emergency venue. Yun na nga, yung mga safer areas, kasi mga marginalized and uh, high-risk uh, sectors ito, yung mga seniors, PWD, pregnant, etc. Kasama ko si Yoyet dyan. So, isa yun, uh, this is on the day of the election. The second one is what you're referring to, na familiar na tayo sa mga bilangguan, all the people, uh, persons deprived of liberty, but are still qualified to vote. Pinupuntahan niyan ng ating uh, COMELEC hanggat maari kapag there are 50 and over voters who are qualified in that space, pinipilit ng COMELEC hanggat kaya puntahan sila doon sa preso, alimbawa. And I am recommending that itong quarantine, isolation areas, hanggat kaya puntahan na rin natin pati ospital. Pero hindi natin malaman kung paano gagawin yan, kulang na nga yung tao. Nagre-request rin dyan yung mga refugee camps, yung ating mga bakwit sa Mindanao. Kasi yung iba sa kanila, nakakatatlo, apat na taon na nandun pa rin sa kampo. So kung 50 and over, may nagre-request rin pati ng IP, yung mga remote upland areas na indigenous people natin, nagre-request rin ng special polling place. So, patay ang COMELEC nito sa dami ng request, pero tulong-tulong na lang to. And ikatlo, yung sinasabi natin, pag worst case, pag talagang hindi mahanapan ng paraan on the day of the election, hindi talaga kakayanin na ng COMELEC puntahan for a special polling place. Yung ikatlo, yung sinasuggest namin ni Congresswoman Yoyet, uh, buhayin na lamang yung local absentee bill na siyang ginagamit ng AFP, PNP, media, BEI, and others na uh, let's say two weeks uh, or two days before the election, bumoto sila. Ang problema nito, hindi pwedeng buksan yung mga e-ballot. Ang gagamitin nila manual ballot, which means hindi sila makakaboto sa lokal. It's not a satisfactory arrangement, but it's better than not voting at all. So, yun yung mga suggestion namin. At, uh, Yoyet, pumasa na ba sa house yan? Kasi sa amin, bunuan pa eh. Senator si Chair, Kong, yung please, sa early voting... natin si Kong uh, Fortun. Sa early voting, uh, Chair, tapos na kami sa third okay, reading. Na, eh. Kami, hindi pa eh. Uh, pero for may ganun, um for Congressman uh, Lawrence, may, may, may suggestion of three types. Sa amin po, Chair, tapos na sa uh, ano, third reading, tapos na kami. Yes, ayun, hahabulin natin sana. Sana Chair. tulungan tayo ni Senator Tolentino rin. Yes, yes uh, Congressman. Um, Congressman minus, the, minus the legislations, Madam Chair, does COMELEC have... Uh, 
uh, measures, assuming na hindi natin maipasa, uh, meron bang nakahandang measure ang COMELEC, no? uh, taking advantage of the laws that we have now? I think ang issue dyan, uh, COMELEC has very broad uh, rulemaking power, but uh, their real concern is that will they be able to allocate budget for items that are not clearly in the law? That's always been the concern. So I don't know. Does someone in COMELEC wish to answer, please? Do you have been? Yes, co-chair. Does anyone want to weigh in? Director El Nas, I saw you uh, jumping up and down. Narinig mo lang yung budget eh. Bukas yung hearing nyo. <laughs> Tama yun, ma Madam Chair. Uh, one is uh, the law on local absentee voting should be expanded. That's and right. That would, include, that would include those who are uh, confined in isolation facilities. Uh, unfortunately, sa local absentee voting natin, they will be only be voting for national candidates. Walang local. Uh, pero so we're recommending that uh, magbubukas kayo ng SEAPP at SPP, katulad ng ginagawa ng BJMP and, at, and other uh, jail areas. Uh, maganda din yan, Madam Chair, but ang problema natin is yung budgetary requirements again. Because uh, you will need uh, support staff or another set of electoral boards that will conduct the the voting doon mismo sa sa isolation facilities. Ay nga Director Elnas inunahan na kita eh budget na kagad diyan di ba Congress mo for Yes. Spirit na kagad eh. Yes, yeah, so the options are there but uh, we'll have to uh, we'll have to uh, pony up the requisite amounts, the logistics and most of all the personnel. Yon. So, so, Madam Chair, I think COMELEC should be ready with their proposal. Uh, apparently, this has not been factored in sa budget na sinabit nila ngayon sa, sa Kongreso. So, baka naman pwede nilang isama, pahabo na lang, supplement na proposal. 